Tell us about your 3D printing journey. What inspired you to start 3D printing? When did you hear about the GK2? What were your first thoughts when received your first printer and finally printed your first miniature? How did you feel? From your first project to your latest project, how have your models developed since then? And have you helped others along the way in our community? Are you no longer worried about low temperature printing? Are you more comfortable knowing you will have fewer failures due to temperature issues? Hi everyone, this is Mia. I'm at the Uniformation Factory today to explore the different heating process. Behind me, there are two printers in the refrigerator. So come with me and see what happened. Most resins perform best above 25 degrees Celsius and we begin to fail below 20 degrees Celsius. Temperature changes the resin's viscosity. The colder it is, the thicker it gets. There are three common methods to heat the resin. Air circulated heating, built-in vat heating, and under vat heating. Each of these methods has a different effect on the print output, so it is critical to choose the right heating system to get the desired results. The air circulated heating system heats the air around the printer and then transfers heat to the resin. The built-in vat heating system heats the metal vat around, then transfer heat to the resin. Those methods result in uneven resin temperatures. For the first way, the resin is thick. The liquid at the bottom of the vat cannot be realized in a short time. For the second way, this will result in resin temperature differences between the center and the surrounding area. Resin curing is affected by temperature. Printing accuracy can only be guaranteed if the temperature difference is controlled within a reasonable range. The undervat heating method, which was first designed by Uniformation, quickly and evenly transfers heat to the resin, making it ideal for long-term printing at low temperatures. It consistently produces stable printing results and reduces the chances of printing failures. This method is particularly beneficial for printing large models. We will do an CSX test print on both printers at 10 degrees Celsius and compare how the different heating system affects the printing results. Before we get started, let's check the initial temperature. Both printers will warm up to around 35 degrees. Let's see how long it will take. Well, they both reached to 35 degrees Celsius and the build place went down. Both started printing. After comparing the two different heating methods, we can see that the printer with air circulated heating has issues with layers while the pricks from the undervat heating system came out perfectly. As you can see, the winner is obvious. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, follow, and leave comments below. You will have a chance to win the prizes. I am looking forward to your sharing about your 3D printing journey. Bye!